now begins the arduous task of uh, laying out the 850 engine loom on here and then there's the injectors plugging everything in extending bits where we need to changing plugs whatever and then figuring out where to run it through your fireball engine loom about 99% laid out right, I'm just gonna go around there and then we're gonna have like a mill spec connector bulkhead connector there where it just plugs in and then on this end we've got the ECU plugs all labelled up uh, that's the other one there so yeah I've just got about the right length to go into the ECU and then that's where they'll connect up to. You can't see it because it's so dark. There we go. So yeah, next step will be chopping that engine end to the right length, getting the connectors on, doing the same on this end and then go from there. That's the entire engine side of the loom. All chopped to length, all labelled up, cable ties where I want all the junctions to be. Um, so yeah, time to start sheathing it all up, covering it, because we won't be able to do that once the plug's on the end. And then once that's all done, we put the pins on it, and then put the plug on it. And then that's this side all done. We have to do the same for the side that's on the body. On the body? On the inside. Which is just the... Basically the other end of this which goes to the ECU. It's the engine name all sheathed up, taped, whatever. Looking tidy and lovely. Amazing. <laughs> Sweet! So this is the fan relay, we can't really get rid of it because we're still running the stock ECU. Yeah, so we need it to control stuff. Um, and it's got two outputs, high and low, but we've just got a one speed fan. When you ground each of these pins, it changes the output from one of these to the other. So, and we don't have the plug for it either. So what we're going to do, solder a couple of wires on there fill it with epoxy and then these will join into one we might even put i think we should put a little plug on it as well yeah, yeah. Just so we've got two into one and a plug yeah and yeah. it is removable from yeah, yeah, yeah. the rest of it um. one solder done got to record it because my phone's done sorry my high-end camera you know these phones yeah it's amateur Mm. Bubbly. That's way better at 400. Yeah. It actually flows. Here's some thick oil wire.
that's our two speed fan relay all modified so we've got the two high and low power both going into one and then to a plug and then that's the other side of the plug and then that'll go to bulkhead connector on the firewall on the inside and then out to the fan on the outside magic Wiring is about 99% done now. This is the inside part of the engine loom. That's the ECU plug. Got all these lovely uh, douche connectors. Nice mill spec one there. That goes through the firewall. That goes through the firewall. That's the engine side there, all done. And there's the other big mill spec plug. <laughs> so. Just get the last few bits pinned up now, which is what Hal's doing over there. And then we can see if the stuff turns on. So we've run all the wires now. It's mostly tidy, there's a few bits that need sorting out, like these temporary grounds. Uh, we obviously can't leave them like that. And um, our firewall plugs are just going through holes at the moment, so we need to cut extra sections out of here and then we can make plates on either side that the firewall plugs attach to. Um, engine looms looking lovely and neat. It's basically the same on the other side. So there's a big firewall plug there and there's another 12 pin there. We've got two 12 pins on the other side. Um, this is mostly tidy. It just needs putting into the right place and everything. A few bits still need sorting out, obviously. I mean, it looks a bit of a state, but yeah. So, in a minute, we should be able to try turning the key and see if the starter engages. Uh, we've got no clutch and fly flywheel in because obviously the engine's got to come back out so we didn't bother but we can see if it will turn over at least or the starter engages which we know the engine turns over so uh yeah we don't want to turn it over without any oil in <laughs> no so we'll see what happens last little bit of plugging in <laughs> Perfect spot for an OBD pot. <laughs> I think we'll leave it there, it's nice. Nice little 3D printed bracket. Mm. Ish. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, this. <laughs> See, I'm sure the, the, re the relay normally clicks when I plug that in. But it's not doing it, which prangs me out a little. Right, what do we get? That was the boot. That would be the fuel pump relay. I didn't get anything from the dash. Oh, but the clock's going. I didn't get any lights though. Oh, but. Is the dimmer down? All the way yeah, there? Yeah, it is, yeah. Do it again. Do what? Turn it on. Yeah? Yeah. That's the fucking fuel pump going. Yeah. So that primed? Yep. That clicked in there, something. Yeah, that's the fuel pump relay down there. Sweet. And the main relay. Yeah. Actually, put your hand on the main relay. Just check all the relays are triggering. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go now. Yeah, that clicked. Right, I'll start again. That one definitely clicked off again. What, the main relay? Yeah. You, that's again. all three. Let's do it. Yep. This Gee, one. that fuel pump is loud. This one. I don't want to burn the pump. Ah, oh, it should be fine. Yeah. It's all clicking. Well, that's promising. That fuel pump, I mean, that means this 
and it only goes for a second as well, which yeah. is what it's supposed to do. Yep. Yeah. So, should I give it a little bump on the last? Yeah. And see what it. See what we get. Do you want to? Take that with me. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I mean, frig yeah. Right. Sweet. So it's just a matter of uh, the engine back out and just tidying everything up. Yeah. Rebuilding the inside, getting the shifter and everything sorted. Well, that was awesome. Yes. had to remove all of this to replace this <laughs> cleared, uh, cleared some why does it say 940 huh? why does it say 940 it's a 950 you're gonna have to redo those stickers man no, I'll leave that I'll just cover over the 40 bit so yeah I've got some space on the shelves so we can uh, start taking that apart get the engine out and we can do the last bits in the engine bay, which we're going to make a little list of as we go. Hal's already started it. Brake lines. We already did them once and then huffed them up. And uh, bias control, which you've not even done anything with yet. No. Kind of important. Are you cutting that? Yeah, I'm just cutting the 940. This would have been easier to... This is ridiculous. everything stripped off the engine yeah. or the car even it's quite a lot gone yeah. so next time we'll be pulling this out this here is a bit of heater ducting which we've designed and printed because we've replaced our heater core with a little one uh, it's got four outlets. We want two to go to the windscreen vents and one to the passenger side vent and one to the driver side vent. So the two to the 
windscreen demister vent thing. Um, we didn't want to have to run two big inch hoses all the way up. Uh, so, designed this. I've already epoxied one side together. And then we'll have the same on this side. And that'll go into two outlets on our heater core. And it's got one inch outlet which will go up to the ducting, the factory ducting for the windscreen demister. And hopefully, because it's like really thin, it should keep the air speed up. So it's like still got a bit of pressure when it gets to the windscreen, but we'll see about that. Who knows? I don't even know if it fits yet either, so yeah, it probably won't. We'll find out. <laughs> Well, luckily I noticed I stuck that on the wrong way round before it's set. <laughs> so I just let that dry and then that bit on there. And it's done. Well, I might sand it and paint it. Who knows? It's under the dash, so there's probably not much point, but I might do it anyway. Two in one heater dunk dunked? Dunked? Ducked. Fits perfectly. Got a nice coat of Kringle Black. All epoxy together, sanded down. So, that one outlet comes from that one there and then the one on the other side. And it'll go up into our window demister, windscreen demister duct in there. So I just need to make another bit for that. That takes the other end of the pipe. So we'll just have a really short bit from there. To there. And then these are ready to go in. Yeah. So we can use the factory vents. That's got the same size as that outlet. So we can just run a simple pipe. And that's the driver side one. And these unclip as well. As I'm sitting here joking away, having a laugh. Bro. Yeah. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs>